So today we'll be looking at matrices in this transformation and the subtopics. And we continue our journey with the 2021 January paper. Let's jump right into it. So given the matrix, and we have the matrix W, this is what we call a two by two matrix because it's square. There are two rows and two columns. Determine another two by two matrix L such that when we add W and L, we are getting this null matrix. So in other words, they give you a number and they're asking you what number I can add on here that will send this number to zero. And obviously, 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 the number is negative three. It's the same thing they basically asking you here. So we have the matrix W, we have three, six, negative two, five, and we're adding on some kind of mystery guy here that will send everything to zero. And this, this matrix is called L. So L must represent the, and there's a term we use, stand by for the fancy term, additive inverse. So L must represent an additive inverse. So we want to change, all, which just means to change all these signs and these numbers. So L must be negative three, negative six, two, and negative five. Why is it in the chat if you understand why L is that? So if it's negative, it's positive. If it's positive, it's negative. P in part two, such that when we multiply them together, we get this matrix. Now this matrix has a very special name. This matrix is very special to us and should be very dear to your heart. This matrix has a name that starts with I. Anybody want to suggest what matrix this is? No, W was the matrix given and we multiply by P and we get this matrix. This matrix is like code for the letter one. Let me letter. The number one of it. <laughs> this matrix is like code for the number one. In other words, what they're asking you, what they're asking is, there's a number four and we multiply it by something and we get one. What to put inside? But it's going to be a quarter. This is called the identity. This, in this case, it's the multiplicative identity. In this case, it's the I identity matrix. That's the name we give for it in maths. Unit matrix, identity matrix, well then, Nirvana, and also Asha, also Nirvana, the identity matrix, right? So if you multiply W by W inverse, AKA the inverse of the matrix, you will get the identity matrix. So it means that P is the inverse of W. So what they are essentially asking you here is that this question is asking us to find the inverse of this matrix. So to find the inverse matrix for CXE, we use a process where we find the adjoint and the determinant. The matrix W was three, six, negative two, and five. So to find the inverse matrix, some people like to do the determinant. The determinant is AD minus BC. This AD minus BC is if this matrix is in the form A, B, C, D, right? So in other words, you're, you're subtracting the diagonals, the product of the diagonals. So three by five minus six by negative two. This is going to give us 15, minus negative 12 27 it is so that's the determinant then you find the adjoint the adjoint the formula for the adjoint is that you're going to swap the d and the a and you're going to switch the signs and the d and the cn so to indicate that we are switching signs we use this negative to indicate that we're switching the sign on the b and the c so what we'll end up with is five here and three there see how they swap this will turn to positive two and this will turn to negative six and the formula, one over the determinant by the adjoint. So W inverse, which is also P, which is what we're trying to find, is equal to one over the determinant by the adjoint. So this is one over 27 multiplied by five, negative six, two, three. Technically, this is the answer here already, but let's put everything over 27. So this is gonna give us five over 27. That can get a decimal. So the shortcut is just to put everything over 27. 2 over 27. Negative 6 over 27. I'm sensing a little breakdown here. I'm 
3 over 27. Oh, I'm sensing the next break down here because 27 is divisible by 3. So um, this could look even more condensed as putting 5 over 27, 2 over 27, negative 2 over 9. I hope I'm correct. And 3 can go into 27 9 times here again. So therefore, the matrix P is 5 over 27, 2 over 27, negative 2 over 9, 1 over 9. And you collect your two marks. And let's go on to the last part of this. The last part of this question is dealing with a topic we call matrix transformation. The right angle triangle M has vertices. What does vertices mean? It means pointy things here. When M is transformed by the matrix N, so this is a transformation matrix. The image is M inverse. So what you should know, transformation matrices looks like this. So you have M multiplied by whatever the transformation matrix is, and this will give us the image. Now, in this case, we'll be using two by one matrices here. So it would be better to write this as the transformation matrix by the individual coordinates. I'll show you what I mean exactly. Um, giving you the image. Okay. So if you need to find the coordinates of M, this really means we need to find X prime, Y prime, Z prime. This is how it works. You multiply the transformation matrix by each one of these individually and your answer will be very quick in coming to you. Just before we work it out, I just want to mention some things. So the identity matrix looks like this, right? Do you know that we have a lot of simul, um, a lot of transformation matrix that matrices that look like slightly changed versions of the identity matrix? And all of them do different things. All of them do different things. This one is going to change the X coordinate. This one, if the image was here, is going to send it over here. This one, if the image was like this, the image is going to end up flipped like this. It's going to flip it in the line Y is equal to X. And that's the one we are dealing with right now. So let's go. Ready now. Let's do this. So each point is going to get a taste of this um, transformation matrix. It's called N. So I'm going to put 0, 1, 1, 0 and hit them to this point. And those of you all who know how to multiply 2 by 2 by 2 by 1, and if they just proceed, for the rest of us, <laughs> for the rest of us, we do in a row by color. So we're going to go 0 by 1 plus 1 by 1. And then one by one plus zero by one. Earlier, I wrote here the page right next to my This class had a bit trash. So it's going to be zero plus one, one plus zero. It's going to be one, one. So this is, this was X. So this is the image of X. This was X. So this is the image of X. I'm going to do the same thing for the additional points. If you um, remember what I said earlier, you could probably get the full marks in this question without showing all of these multiplication by just showing that this matrix represents a reflection in the line Y is equal to X. So it means all these coordinates are going to flip when, we, when it's time to get the image. Great how much you understand this question out of 10. So love and blessings, keep studying, keep practicing. What I would do now if I were you is go and tackle a couple of matrices questions and with my videos and already knowledge you just gathered here. Till we meet again.